Alright guys, it's your boy Interjack here and we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, uh, for this video we're going to be doing a, a Planet Namek Saga No Item Run on the Legendary Goku event. Um, the GT version of it, obviously. Um, honestly, I was surprised at how easy this was. This was very easy, very free. Um, this only took me like two or three tries to do really. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, I put third form Frieza in slot one. I didn't want uh, Frieza to just immediately one shot this Goku, which he will. And I wanted third form Frieza to get some hits in so he can get, build up that passive of his. But um, yeah, uh, basically this run is just literally just let LR full power Frieza carry all the damage, which he will. Um, he does like one shot almost every single phase. Like I'm not joking, he literally one shots almost every single phase. Um, well, yeah, and then we have the int final form freezer. He's able to soak up any potential damage or super attacks that might be in our way. You know, this guy on and when he's fighting a Goku family enemy, this guy can literally not take damage because he's guarding and he has 50 percent damage reduction. So nothing in the game can really hurt him. Yeah, he just took 3k from that super, and then you know, full power freezer hitting this 6.6 mil attacks that was basically turn one for him. Um, he's able to carry a lot of the damage. Um, you will see that we do move through this event very fast, very quickly, and very, very free. Um, like I said, we don't really have an issue doing this at all, like whatsoever. Uh, is that Piccolo? Piccolo, honestly, he doesn't really get a lot of play in here. Um, I'm mainly just running him as a floating support. Um, I do decide to go for the defensive stack uh, with um, Frieza, so we shall see. Um, then we have a 5.7 mil attack stat from Frieza. Yeah, he he's just able to clear this event out really, really easily. Um, and yeah, then yeah, we go ahead and let Int Final Core Frieza soak up a lot of the damage again. Um, like I said, it's pretty much we don't really have difficult like these first phases. They're fodder. They don't really mean anything. Um, they all get destroyed by by this full power Frieza. Um, yeah, like even in Final Form Frieza, he's hitting a lot harder than what he usually hits. Usually, I see him like way less. Than, he's basically almost almost at two mil. Usually, he's way below that. He's at like one point one or one point three. But it's because of these Frieza links being activated that he's able to actually get like decent numbers. Of wow, he's also giving twenty percent attack and defense. And, um, yeah, I mean, he's just a good unit overall. And then, yeah, this this is the only phase that could probably give us trouble um, because of the int Frieza. But as you can see, he's only getting hit once right there. Oh, no, the cord. Oh, I can just fix that. Okay. But anyway, as you can see, he's um, only getting hit once there, so it's not really a problem for us. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Frieza does take this super, which sucks. Um, it will cuck his defense a little bit on the super attack, but it doesn't really matter. We just keep stacking. We get Frieza up to 7.4 mil. Um, reminder, my Frieza is not level 10 link, so that was without Big Bad Bosses. That he hit that much damage. Um, then he does basically a 6 mil uh, a 12 key, which is so insane. The fact that those LRs have um, that 12 key Mega Colossal Multiplier is just ridiculous. Like, that is so busted. It allows him to do way more damage than most other units. Um, even this in, all right, this in third form freezer, by the way, because he double supered, I know, like, uh, I mean, this phase isn't really that strong, but he's still formidable. Like, yeah, he only took 30k there, and that was tight disadvantage. Um, he's 55%, by the way. Like, look at that. He basically, he's taking around the same damage Piccolo's taking. So, like, just keep that in mind. Um, we do have the other LR. We have LR uh, Super Saiyan Goku on here. Now, I will say LR Super Saiyan Goku, I mean, he's just floating on this team. He's not really contributing a lot. But um, he is a decent floater. Whenever, if you do get, like, an attack with him in there, um, he does do decent damage. So, it's fine. Um, he also stacks defense on his 12 key, so, and he's in. So, by the time he gets to the final phase, he's not really going to take damage anyway. Which is, that's all we really need him to do. And then freezes that still at six mil by the way i think it were well beyond the point where his uh like passes were worn out and he's still putting up insane attacks that number 
Then we get to this phase. Now, normally in a normal run, this phase is like one of the hardest phases for a lot of teams. Not this one, because the main unit that we're running is an AGL unit. And um, he's like busted against Goku units. So like, the, the great A Goku, honestly, he's child's play to this Frieza. Like, he just gets obliterated, decimated, evaporated, and it, all those other words, atomized. <laughs> like, he just gets destroyed by this Frieza. And there's not much Grave Goku can even do in return because if, even if uh, Grave Goku super attacks Frieza, he's going to do like 50k to him because of Frieza still defensive stacking on his 18k. Um, his defense is already naturally high, and then we have the third form Frieza giving him the support. So, um, like I said, there's not much like these guys can even do really. <laughs> And it, yeah, we did. I did bring Raccoon. Uh, Raccoon is he's also just a floating option. He's not really meant to like do massively impact or anything or anything like that. Um, we do get some decent healing from Piccolo here, as you can see. Our health jumps up, so like, yeah, dude, he healed us by like almost a hundred k right there. Like that's a lot. Like, it was it was honestly it was well over a hundred k. It was like hundred and twenty that he just healed us by. Like that Piccolo, like he's not as good as a third form freezer, but don't. Like, he's still good, right? He's still very good. Especially on this Planet Dynamics Saga team, because all he's doing is just supporting, like, the best or second best or third best, wherever you want to place this Frieza. He's a top three unit in the game. He's supporting that unit. So just keep that in mind. And right, we do make it to this phase. Um, I do believe I get super attacked here, but it doesn't matter because I'm able to get the Dokkan attack. Um, so we do heal up, like, quite a bit. Even if I think Goku super attacks Frieza, a uh, Frieza takes like 260k. Um, that's not the greatest, I guess, but it's not it's not life threatening, right? Like we're still alive. Um, actually, we have quite a lot of HP to be honest. Um, but uh, I'd say Frieza for a type neutral unit that doesn't have like damage reduction or like guard or anything like that, he tanked that fairly okay. Like, there's a lot of other units who would have took, like, twice the amount of damage right there, honestly. But, um, yeah. Uh, he does do, like, 7.4 mil worth of damage to this Goku. Um, the thing about this GT Goku event is, um, that the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Full Power Goku, they actually have a lot of defense, but Frieza, like, directly counters that because he's doing, like, guaranteed crits against him. So, like, his, like... I know there was a meme back in the day where it was like, um, like uh, GT Goku would say like, uh, "Fuck your defense" and all that. Now it's pretty much the reverse. Like Frieza is telling Goku, "Yeah, your defense doesn't mean shit to me, buddy." <laughs> As you can see, he basically half health Goku by himself, almost. And then, uh, yeah, we do get the full heal from the Dokkan attack. Um, I do just go ahead and put uh, Int Frieza in slot one, just to be safe. Um, Pretty sure full power Frieza will just finish him after this. Uh, by the way, it final it final form Frieza, he does stack attack. Um, it doesn't really mean that much because the unit doesn't hit that hard to begin with, but that is the reason why I put him in slot one, just in case if full power Frieza didn't kill him there, which I think he might have anyway. But if he didn't kill him there, um, it would have been kind of bad. Because uh, then we would have took another super attack. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Good thing I put that in Final Four Freeze in slot one. Um, we didn't get uh, the additional, so that is unfortunate. But this actually works out well for us because that means when we go into Tech Full Power Super Saiyan Four Goku, we'll have the uh, we'll have Int Final Form Freeza on rotation. So that works out a lot better for us. Um, uh, honestly, even though this Freeza stacks defense and his defense is high, he can take normals from that Goku pretty easily. He'll take double digits. From that full power uh, Goku, the problem is he cannot take a super attack. A super attack would do tons of damage to him. Like you need like a million defense as an extreme AGO unit to tank that Goku super attack to double digits. So um, yeah, we want to try to avoid getting hit by that super attack. Um, I do believe it works out in the end for us though because he, uh, I think on this turn he super attacks in final form Frieza, so um, we don't take that much damage. Um, like I said, we have been getting, we consistently been getting that 18 key every single turn, which is really good. 
Um, Frieza's key on like these specific teams is pretty good. Yeah, he does end up super in Int Farm from Frieza. Int Farm from Frieza takes like 50k from this and like moves on. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is really good that we're able to get his 18 keys consistently. That keeps him stacking his defense and stuff like that. Um, Frieza, I mean, this whole video he's been doing consistent like five, six, seven mil attack stats the whole way through. So, like. He's able to do really good damage to this Goku. Unfortunately, we did not get the additional there. Now, this Goku, this is where he's actually able to get a turn in because he hasn't gotten one like all video. But because he's int and he stacks defense, he's not going to take damage after he supers from this Goku at all. Um, he does do decent damage though because, like I said, he is int. So that really helps out a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think go I mean, he doesn't. Trip. I don't think my go. I don't think he can triple super with Goku at fifty five percent. Um, I have to double check that. I'm pretty sure he can. I would else do it? Um, I see all the attacks right there, so I do put Int Final Form Freeze in slot one. Um, I don't want, like I said, I want to make sure that my uh, full power Freeze does not get super. He takes a little bit there, but I'm after he super, he's not gonna take damage. So, this guy's at two point five, by the way, but he has an additional coming. Um, he has another one too, I think. Yeah, so 2.7, like he just did like 5 mil worth of damage as a banner unit at 55%, like that's good. And he's supporting, and now he raises defense on every super attack he does, by the way. So his defense is like uh, pretty high after he does all those super attacks, honestly. But um, yeah, uh, we don't get super attack this turn, I don't think. Uh, yeah, Raccoon. The Coon doesn't get super attack or anything. He still takes 86k because he's not fully built up. Um, I believe. I don't. I don't think like anybody gets like we're not in trouble on this rotation, right? Yeah, no. I think Goku. Yeah, he super attacks Final Form Frieza again. Works out really well in our favor. Um, the RNG on this run is pretty pretty solid. But uh, yeah, we are able to get it done. Um, Planet Dynamics Saga, honestly, is just an outstanding team after all these units came out. Like, it's a lot better than people think. It's funny because I was, personally, I was the one saying that Planet Dynamics Saga was always going to be a shit team, even if it got, like, all these units, because all these units don't really work to well together. Like, it's like Super Saiyan Goku and, like, Frieza and, like, Piccolo. Like, they don't exactly link well together. But because this Frieza is just as good as he is and then the piccolo and the third form frieza they just support the category it makes this category work really really well um yeah we almost finished off goku there uh and yeah we have piccolo gets his little attack in it doesn't really matter um piccolo at this point yeah he should be fully built up so he doesn't take that much um then uh i think i just put frieza in slot two right there and um, yeah, we just end the video uh, right here. I, I like how I turn on the volume because I'm trying to hear the actors too. Because this, this has like the best voice acting in all of like Dokkan. Um, his OST is really good. The voice acting is really good. And then yeah, he he says bye bye you silly monkey, and um, he gives us the the frown or I'm sorry the smile right there. Yeah, I, that smile. I like I said many times over. I love that way more than the frown. But, um, yeah, we are able to get that done. That was a no-item run for Planet Dynamics Saga on the GT Legendary Goku event. Um, that was my fastest time, too, by the way. Um, we did get a, uh, the five-star Paranga Ball. Um, we have to collect five in or, or seven. Um, that was literally my fastest run without items. The run that I did before this one, um, I was using, like, double cooler, and I, like, had cooler with a bunch of supports and shit and i was using like boma items and stuff like that but um that literally was the fastest run that i've ever done was with planet namek saga um so that just goes to show you that this team like is super strong after the celebration um if you guys do pull this frieza i do recommend like running planet namek saga um in some events just testing it out because this this team can easily help you clear a lot of difficult content I think but um yeah uh, I'll probably do a video on battlefield after this one goes up uh, I'm re recording this one like now like it's going up now right after I finish recording it but um yeah uh, the battlefield is pretty interesting I'm probably gonna take planet dynamic saga as a team into that Frieza because he has like three phases and he, he takes quite a long time to kill but um anyway um 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.